Well, hello. Thanks for coming back to check out another video. So, did you miss the old setup? Um, my body cannot decide if it wants to be awake during the day or awake during the night. And so this is just one of those days where we're awake during the night. So I thought, you know what? Let's just put on a full face of makeup and sit down and film some videos because it's not like terrible lighting. I do prefer the lighting in the other room like during the daytime. I think that just looks a lot nicer. So we'll probably just go back and forth. It just depends on what my body wants to do. So you did not click on this though to hear about my sleep schedule and insomnia. You clicked on this because you are here for the first update to my hardest project pan and I'm blanking. I looked at this earlier today. Misty commented and she, here's the name she came up with. And I was like, that is genius. She is so good at coming up with names for things. So I credit her and I thank her for that. I will leave her link down below. You guys should go check her out. She is a delight. Also link down below will be Becca because I am going to credit Becca this whole year with the push that I needed to do this style of project pan. She had a video come out and it was like, harder items that she wanted to project pan. I'll leave it linked down below. But again, Becca is such a delight, so go check her out as well. So what is this? Um, I have decided to take six harder items in my collection. Now they could be hard for like the example of like, oh, I don't really like this, like I need that push to use it, like it's hard in that way. Or it could be something like, I like this item, but it's a blush. And so it's really hard to like use up and finish off. That's kind of how I'm picking the things for this. I would love for this project to be rolling. Um, I don't have anything rolling out yet, but I, like with harder items, I don't know how many rollouts there will be throughout the year. So that's really it. I have six items in right now. I'll leave everything in the description box. Also, if this is your first time catching a, a, a like an update style video from me, what I tend to do is on the screen, I will leave like the name of the pro product, the goal and how many times I have used it and then the total uses. Now, since this is the first update, the uses and the total uses are going to be the same number, but like going forward, that total uses you will see like grow, hopefully. So yeah, without any further rambling, let's just get right on into this. Okay, so the first item we will talk about is this concealer from Bare Minerals. This is in the shade Bisque, which is on the more pinky side. And in my intro video, I talked about how like when I use it to set like my eyeshadow primer or my concealer or things like that, it just like the pinkness comes through a little bit too much. And you guys had some really helpful tips. Like some people said, maybe try mixing it with other blushes, like using it up as a loose blush and things like that. Um, and I did try that a few times. I tried it as an all over face setting powder. But what I had found was if I use this eye primer from Sugar Drizzle, this is marketed um, from them as like a colored eye primer. So this is in the shade Pound Cake and it's supposed to be on the more yellow side. So then it would like, if you put like the idea of it obviously being like a colored um, like eye base is that since it's yellow, it would make eyeshadows lean more yellow. But I find once I like blend this out onto my eyes, it kind of matches my skin tone and like my uh, concealer and foundation and all of that. So I don't really get the effect of like a colored base from this. This works more as like a traditional eye primer. But since it does have that yellow base, I find that by like mixing the two of these together, that pinkness does not come through nearly as much. So that's how I am going to continue to use it just to set down my eye primer and um, my concealer and pairing it with that. So I do have to tell you guys, I hope you can see on camera but you can see the nail polish line where we started at i did not mark this with a new line yet because i wanted you to be able to see where it is but we have used up a good bit of product you know it's like right here is where the top of it so there's like a centimeter's worth of gap between the old line and where i can make a new line so i'm pretty impressed with that i did finish off the concealer it was the well rested one from bare minerals so now i can devote like my full attention and my full focus to this one okay so the next thing we will talk about is my essence brighten up banana powder so this too like with the concealer i brought this in because i was like i don't like this i had gotten this to set down my eyeshadow primer and my concealer and it was much too yellow so how i have been using it is this is just as an all over face setting powder it's not my favorite but it is not terrible it um 
it helps to set down my makeup but I find that since it's not a traditional setting powder my makeup doesn't last as long as like it would with a typical like setting powder or even a loose powder um so I'm just gonna help happily finish this off I do have to tell you guys I think at the introduction we had pan on this and then, so I've been using it all month and expanding and expanding that pan. And then it got to the point where like pieces of it were crumbling. You know how when your pan gets too big almost and then like stuff, part of it starts to like flake off. And so I had to repress it, which I did. And then it was very thin in there once it was repressed. And I was really hoping that I could have it finished off by today. But unfortunately, I don't. There's not very much left of this though. Hopefully it will focus in on that so you guys can see. I know it's kind of hard because it's yellow product, but maybe I'll just include a picture of it over here of like what it's currently looking like. I think that if I do my makeup five more times, I will have this, you know, finished off, rolled out. So even though this isn't technically finished yet, I'm going to go ahead and bring in another powder just so I can, like once this one's done, I can start seamlessly working on the next one. And then at the next update, I can show you guys hopefully an empty packaging for this and then progress on the next powder. But yeah, so really happy that I am kicking this thing's butt and it's looking like it will be a March empty. All right, so the last four things to talk about, it's two highlighters and two blushes. These are all items that I actually really enjoy. I just brought them in because, you know, they would be hard to finish off. It's very hard to get through a powder highlighter and a powder blush. So the first one that I would like to talk about is the Ofra Pillow Talk Highlighter. This is my absolute favorite highlighter. If you caught my ranking my highlighters, I keep spoiling it. I keep mentioning like, hey, I ranked this part of my makeup, but let me just go ahead and tell you what my number one was. Um, so anyway... I'm really happy to be working on this. Like I said in so many videos of Lost Count, I could wear this highlighter every day. It mixes and layers well with other highlighters and I'm just so into the pinky highlighters right now. So I would like to tell you when we brought it in, it already had pan on it, but hopefully you can see that we have started to expand the pan on this. So it's like coming down this way. I have just like I said, really enjoyed this. I'm really proud of the progress that I've made. This bottom part down here is the more thinner side. Like when I look at this product, I can tell that there's less on this side of the pan than it is up here. So it doesn't surprise me that I have as much progress as I do, even though I feel like I didn't reach for this as much as I thought I did. You'll see, you'll have seen the number on the screen. I thought that I wore this every day in the month, but I don't think I did. I had some days where I like took a break from it just so I could make sure I was cycling through my highlighters. Um, so I'm still really happy with the progress on this that I've made. This is definitely going to be a long haul item. Like I don't foresee that being done maybe until August. And that's, that's being hopeful. That's being super hopeful. It might actually go until December on that one powdered highlighter. But I do have another powdered highlighter in. Now this is kind of like a sample size highlighter. This was a, it was from a Natasha Denona Duo. And if I'm not mistaken, this is called the Diamond Powder. So I had depotted it forever and a day ago. And I really like this highlighter. This is a great highlighter on its own. It, like in swatches, it looks a little bit glittery. But once you put it on your face, I don't find it to read glittery. And I actually find that if I have went to ham with another highlighter, I can put this one over top of it and kind of help to tone it down and soften it. I know it sounds really weird, but it works. So this is also, it's not a cream to powder, but it's not, it almost feels like a gel -A formula. You know what I mean? Um, so I think it's going a little bit more quickly than I anticipated. Um, but yeah, here's what it's looking like. So hopefully, I don't know if the ring light is turned up too much. Again, I will include pictures of like what these items look like as we sit here now over here, just in case you can't see them. But we did hit side pan on the bottom of this highlighter. So I'm really excited about that. But much like with the essence powder, this is starting to flake off when I go in with my brush and I just use, hold on, let me get the brush. All right, so the highlighter brush that I use is from BH Cosmetics. It's part of their rose gold collection and it's the number four brush. But this is what it looks like. It's just kind of small and like, it honestly looks like a standard powder brush, just it happens to be smaller. And I find that it's great for like my face shape getting in there how I want and it really diffuses the product. So 
I don't think it's a problem with the brush that I'm using. I think it is a problem with this being on more of that like gelée type formula. And the reason I'm bringing it up is because I'm uncertain. Like, can I repress this? Should I repress this? Is that going to ruin it if I repress it? But then if I don't repress it, like there's the potential to just keep wasting product because it's flaking off and like falling and it's not something that you can like pick up and save. You know what I mean? So let me know your thoughts down below. If you've had experience with that and what did you do? Should I just crush this up and make it into a loose highlighter even? I would be fine with that. But yeah, I am still really enjoying this greatly. Um, I'm happy to be working on both of these highlighters is what I'm trying to say. Alright, so our last two items come from this Hourglass palette that is super reflective. Sorry about that. Um, I just have two blushes left in here. I have done a really good job in 2021 of working on to finish off a lot of this palette. So you can see just the blushes in there. So the more purpley one is Surreal Halo. And then the other one, the more pinky one, is Pure Effect. Now, I can tell you, I did use... Surreal Halo much more, but I did actually dip into this one twice, this Pure Effect one. I layered them together and I thought that that was really pretty. That's what I've done today is these two blushes are layered on my face. Um, I don't know if that, I will keep doing that. It's not like, I don't think it looks bad, but it's not like my favorite. I have my more peachy golden blushes like the Benefit Gold Rush Blush Mini. Um, that one I think is a better blush to layer when I feel like I've went a little bit ham. But my point is I'm not surprised that I barely have any usage on this pink one just because it's not the, like, it's not the time of year that I really want like a bright Barbie doll pink blush, you know? Um, so I've much more been drawn to this one. And then once we start getting a little bit warmer, I know my appearance today would read very spring, but it's still cold and rainy and, um, so I'm still going to keep working on this one. Once it gets a little bit warmer, spring, summer, uh, maybe even early fall, I will go ham on this more pinky blush. And then I don't foresee myself finishing this one off before we have that season change. So I'll pick this one back up in the fall and the winter. There's not a good way to show you guys this on camera because it's just hard to like finagle the packaging of this. But if I'm looking at the product like right now, I can see that the pink blush very much still has its domed shape to it. But the purpley brush, the purpley blush is starting like it's starting to flatten out. So that gives me hope. Um, but it's just very slow going. Like I knew putting in blushes would be hard, but and it's only month one. But I have to say, I wish there was more progress to show on them. You know what I mean? It's just a little like disheartening, but I'm going to keep going with it. I'm going to keep strong. Okay, so nothing rolling out, but like I said, I'm so close on that essence powder. So powders typically do take me a longer time. So I have two. I would like to know what you would like to see because I, re I enjoy both of these, but I don't know which one to put in. You know what I mean? So the first one is from Hourglass. This is their um, ambient lighting powder in the shade Dim Light. This is what this currently looks like. No pan or anything, but I have used this quite a bit. If I look at it in the package, I can see that, you know, the dome aspect of it is starting to wear away. So this would be a very thing, very easy thing to reach for. This is not a chore. I do greatly enjoy this. The reason that I'm thinking of putting it in here is because I do need that push since it's more of like a bougie like oh it's hourglass I feel fancy since it's one of those kind of products I'm like save it for a special occasion don't use it don't use it up too quickly which is silly this I you know I got it sometime in 2021 because it was during my hiatus I told myself if I finished up all of the pat like face powder products in here, the strobing powder, the two finishing powders, and the bronzer that I could buy this. So I want to say I purchased this sometime in the summer of 2021, so it's not quite yet a year old, but still, I don't want this, I don't want any product just lingering in my collection and being saved for that special occasion, you know what I mean? So this is option one that I could work on. Option two is another setting powder. It's just a loose one. Now this is my oldest like powder base type product in my collection right now. I do enjoy this. It's the Too Faced Born This Way. This is in the um, translucent shade is what I have mine in. It's really hard to like 
because I can't tear this sticker off successfully and like show you the bottom like we can on the Bare Minerals packaging. And then on the sides, like it's really hard to see. If I hold it, let me, if I, see, it's just, it's, it's a struggle. I feel like I have half the amount of product left in here is, you know, how I feel. I don't know of a way to successfully mark that to show you guys. So again, this is much like this one. I enjoy this. This is my second uh, jar of this that I've had in my life. It's just both of these, I know they would take a long time. This one because it's kind of on the baked side and then this one because it's loose. So I do want to throw one of them in here to replace the essence powder just because I need that push like I said because I feel like sometimes I will lose focus and so I will use something for like a good solid month and then I'll, I'll feel like I didn't make that much progress on it so I'll put it away and pull something else out which that is a good thing because then more things are getting touched you know what I mean but that also means that I'm not really finishing off anything hopefully that makes sense to you guys let me know down below which one of these two items you would like to let me or you would like to let me you would like to let me work on um, which one of those two items you would like to see me work on for the remainder like with the goal to finish it off and that is it. I think that is all the rambling that I need to do. I thank you so much for being here and sticking with me through all of this. I hope you guys are having a good day, a good night, or a good whatever. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye.